is about the new regulatory requirements, whether it's ICD-10 conversion, whether it's meaningful use quality measures, and how to address these in an automated way rather than a manual way. The suggestion that big data can help meet these, I think, is an important one, but requires quite a bit of technology support. The key issue is that these measures are intended to improve care, whether it's using ICD-10 to improve detailed information about patients, or using quality measures to create population health and analytics. The big data that we see, the 80% of unstructured data in healthcare, represents most of the content of healthcare. To be able to use that, we need technologies that can extract the information. It's absolutely possible to extract that information if robust technology is used. With that said, we as a country need to work very hard to assure the information is used correctly to assure that the ICD-10, when converted, is actually getting meaningful codes, to assure that the quality measures are actually being used to improve care. So yes, big data can help meet regulatory requirements, but that needs to be used as an overall strategy to improve care within a health system. Care coordination in this country is critical. The idea that specialists will work with case managers, will work with primary care doctors. Right now, the information is rarely shared, and right now, the data are rarely used to actually improve care. The first step in improving care coordination is just sharing patient records. That's being worked on now in, inter in interoperability. The next step is really around data analytics assuring that the specialist who's caring gets the information that specialist needs at the time when it's available. Or the case manager is working to reduce the readmission rate and help the patient as a whole. This kind of care coordination requiring analytics is all about making the information usable and then getting the information to the right person at the right time. This is a fundamental premise of data-driven health care. Right now, doctors are suffering. They work so hard to try to get all the documentation in line, to try to put it in electronic format, to code where needed. This can't be the future of healthcare. We can't allocate half of a patient's visit call just to documentation. When we think about data analytics, we think about how the technology can solve the doctor's problem and improve the care for the patient. In this case, the doctor's problem is properly documenting content and being able to get those codes, whether they're ICD-9 or ICD-10, to appropriately reflect the patient record, to appropriately get reimbursed. Right now, if the doctor writes diabetes, but the narrative note reflects type 2 diabetes mellitus with complication of a leg ulcer, that doctor is leaving money on the table, and they're also not properly coding the patient for reimbursement. The technologies have to be able to extract the information out, make it sufficiently usable that the revenue cycle systems can actually build properly. This will improve the bottom line, reduce the time for the doctor, and improve the experience of the patient who now gets more time with their physician.